This morning, the nation's largest Tea Party organization has officially decided their choice in the race for the White House. And here now with the exclusive announcement, right here on Fox and Friends, is Tea Party Patriot CEO Jenny Beth Martin. Jenny Beth, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. Thanks for having me. Okay, we're excited to know you've been thinking long and hard about who should be our next commander in chief and who would like uh, the Tea Party Patriots like to see at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue? Well, our grassroots supporters with Tea Party Patriots Citizens Fund see no choice at all between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, and we are endorsing Donald Trump for president. What is it about Donald Trump? Is it the fact that uh, she is for big government and he's for less government? Is it for honesty and truthfulness or what? Well, it, it's for both of those reasons. We, we look at, at the two choices, and we know that Hillary Clinton's answer to any problem that she sees around the country is always more government. And she has a real problem with, with honesty and truthfulness. Donald Trump has campaigned on the issues that have made the, the tea, that have propelled the Tea Party movement. He wants to secure the border. He wants to balance the federal debt, and he or ba balance the federal budget, uh -huh. and he wants to repeal Obamacare. These are things that, that the Tea Party has stood for for the last seven years, and Donald Trump is going to help make them a reality. Okay, so you just officially endorsed Donald Trump. That's one thing to appear on television, but I understand behind the scenes. Uh, you've got a gigantic database that you're going to turn over to him to help him get across the finish line, right? Well, it's, it's not quite like that. We're a 527 super PAC, so we won't be coordinating directly with the campaign. But we have a, a supporter base of over 3 million people across the country. We are going to engage that, that, that base in getting out the vote, knocking on doors, making phone calls. In Pennsylvania, we have over 57,000 people. In Florida, over 97,000 people. We're also focused on Ohio, where we have over 48,000 people, and North Carolina with 37,000 people. We're getting our activists engaged. We want to make phone calls, do have real voter-to-voter -voter contact, and make sure we close the sale. Everyone hears the ads and, and watches the news and will be watching the debates, and now we need to engage those voters directly and ask for the vote, and that's sure. what we're going to be doing. Sure. Well, it, I'm sure Donald Trump is delighted to hear your endorsement. Jenny, Beth, before you go, you were on the program last week, and we were talking about how John Koskin and the guy who runs the IRS he was being considered for impeachment, and yesterday up on Capitol Hill, he told the lawmakers there it would be improper to impeach him. Of course, uh, the IRS targeted your organization and denied you for a very long time uh, your tax-exempt status. What do you think about what he said yesterday? Well, I, I think that that hearing yesterday really just proves the point that he needs to be impeached. He was not truthful with, with Congress. He, under his watch, evidence about the targeting that happened to us was destroyed, and he was appointed to restore confidence in the IRS. That has not happened, and okay. a proper impeachment is a proper remedy to restore public trust. Well, at this point, it does not look like it's going to happen. Jenny Beth Martin from the uh, Tea Party Patriots, where she is CEO. Jenny Beth, thank you very much for joining us live.